echocardiogram is one of the important tools in the evaluation of coronary artery disease. It is not uh, restricted to the echocardiography room. We can use it in the emergency department, acute coronary care unit, even the operating rooms, echocardiography is used. After ECG, it is probably the most important tool for evaluation of coronary artery disease. Of course, there is troponin estimation in addition, but it takes time to get a report. While echo is available immediately, and when there is a doubt regarding coronary artery disease, detection of wall motion abnormalities tells us that there is most probably coronary artery disease. But don't think that a regional wall motion abnormality is restricted to coronary artery disease. It can also occur in other conditions like Takoshiba cardiomyopathy or the apical ballooning syndrome which is sometimes called broken heart syndrome and stress cardiomyopathy. Myocarditis can also cause regional wall motion abnormalities and there are some other causes as well which we will not discuss now. Now we will see how regional wall motion abnormalities can be recognized on an echocardiogram. This is an echocardiogram from the parasternal long axis view. In parasternal long axis view, the transducer is placed in the left parasternal region, usually in fourth left intercostal space close to the sternum. And you rotate the transducer in such a way that a good image is obtained. Long axis means this is the long axis, base of the heart to the apex. So the transducer position is in such a way that you see the aorta above, left atrium below that, a portion of the right ventricular outflow tract, india ventricular septum and posterior wall of the left ventricle along with cavity of the left ventricle. The two walls seen here are the aortic wall you can see opening and closing. You can also see the mitral anterior leaflet is the main one seen here. Posterior leaflet is also slightly seen. This is the parasternal long axis view. Usually the first view taken during echocardiography. And to recognize regional wall motion abnormality, you compare the motion of different portions of the left ventricle. Here you can see that the posterior wall